Right, well, uh, this year at CES, we're focusing on our new H55 and H57 motherboards. Uh, therefore, the new uh, Intel platform that's got integrated graphics in the CPU. This model is the H55M USB 3. So, just by looking at the name, you can see that uh, one of the key features is that it's got USB 3. These two blue USB ports are USB 3.0, and that is around about 10 times faster than USB 2. What else makes it uh, quite unique is that all of our USB ports have got three times the amount of power. It's actually just three times the amount of amps that come out of it. So for the USB 3 ports, that's 2.7 uh, amps. And for the USB 2 ports, it's around about 1.5 amps. So the purpose is to uh, improve compatibility with USB 3 devices and USB 2 devices. Um, and also, if you're using it with a hub, for example, you could power more devices from one port. I'm sure uh, most people have got a USB 3 device that requires two uh, USB connections to power it. With our triple power USB, you don't need a single cable. You don't need to connect to two USB ports. Another interesting feature, if we look at the I.O. panel over here, um, is it's got this display port, which is the new port from Intel. So it's got HDMI, display port, DVI and D sub out. So there's a lot of uh, high definition video out options available on this motherboard. Of course, as I mentioned earlier, the graphics comes from the CPU. So uh, this also got high definition audio. It's got Dolby Home Theater certification. So this would be a fantastic uh, media center setup. But if you want to use these ports, the graphics ports, you need to have the correct processor. You need to have one of the new Clarkdale processors. Uh, another feature that we're extremely proud of is dual BIOS. So this motherboard has got two BIOS chips. One is the primary BIOS and the other one is the backup BIOS. So if one, if the primary BIOS is damaged in some way or corrupted, then the backup BIOS will automatically kick in and uh, the user won't be able to tell the difference. It'll just keep on working. So very reliable. It's also got solid capacitors from Japan all over the motherboard. This helps to improve uh, reliability and durability of the motherboard. It's also got a uh, two, ounce, two ounce copper PCB. So that means that inside the PCB, the power and ground layers are thicker than normal. So this helps to distribute the heat over the, throughout the motherboard. And it also uh, improves stability because there's a better signal quality because it's thicker copper. So back to USB 3. Gigabyte currently has, uh, we're shipping 14 models of motherboards that are using USB 3. Uh, that they cover a range of chipsets from X58 in the high end to P55, H55 and also on the AMD platform, AMD 700 series. Currently have just shipped over a hundred thousand motherboards with USB 3 on board. So I don't think uh, many other vendors can say that they've sold a hundred thousand USB 3 motherboards. This is the uh, 790FXTA UD5. So it's the first AMD motherboard that has got USB 2.0. Here you can see the blue ports, the USB 2.0 ports. It's also got SATA 3. So if we look at the SATA ports over here, you'll see the, the, the white ports over here are SATA 3. 6 gigs per second. 